All right, can you please share with me your name? My name is Sydney Gray. And I'm Ricky Green Gray. And can you tell me about an object that has particular significance to you as a Jew? I'll, I'll start out with uh, several objects. One, um, not that my granddaughter is an object, but she is the fifth generation North Carolinian and uh, fourth generation in Greensboro. So I take great pride in that. My mother and father, Joseph B. Gray and Sylvia Samet Gray, were founding members of Beth David Synagogue. And um, number three is a significant object that would be my Sar El experience in Israel when my daughter did year course. Uh, we went over to visit her and I stayed an extra two weeks and participated in the Sar El project which was quite a dynamic um, project in, in Israel. And can you tell us a little bit about what the SARL project is? Sure. Um, after, I believe, the second Lebanon, Lebanon War, uh, the, there was a, a gentleman, General Aharon Davidi, who actually, his personal being, he was uh, in the 56th uh, campaign, the Israeli troops were bogged down in the Sinai, and um, Captain Ariel Sharon asked General, uh, it wasn't a general then, but asked Davidi to break through and get to the Suez Canal. So he unclogged the Israelis and they reached the Suez Canal. He started this program after the Second Lebanon War where he took volunteers from all over the world to come to Israel and do menial work it's not menial, but it's work that needs to be done so that a real soldier could be a real soldier, a doctor could um, uh, practice uh, their profession. So when I went to Israel and did uh, SARL, it was, um, I, I uh, uh, refurbished fire extinguishers, and at the end of my term, I asked somebody, what, what are these for? And he said, well, they go in tanks. So I felt very uh, uh, satisfied that perhaps the work that we did um, would save somebody's life. And we, it was a, a collective, we lived in a barracks in Rishon Litzion. And um, so it was a good experience. It helped Israel and um, I'm glad to have done it. Thank you for sharing that story with us. Did you have an object you wanted to speak about? I do. I'd like to speak about my grandmother's wedding ring. Um, when my grandmother was 19 years old, she tells the story that my grandfather carried her up the steps of the Washington Monument, and they got married in Washington, but it was not a Jewish wedding, and so they had to go back home to Baltimore and pretend as if they weren't married until they were ready to be married in a Jewish ceremony. And since that time, um, Nine members of our family have used her wedding ring, which um, in Judaism is a solid gold band that is uh, put on the right index finger in a Jewish ceremony. And uh, my daughter and my daughter-in-law, and my two daughters and my daughter-in-law, and many cousins have been married with that very special ring that my grandmother handed down to us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.